Yeah, that's a fantastic question. <clears throat> Let's talk about that for a second. I, I, I would say that your first investment in real estate other than your primary residence probably shouldn't be in commercial. I, I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. You probably want to get your feet wet and experience life in the residential world. It's a lot less cutthroat. As cutthroat as it is, it's a lot less cutthroat. And in doing so, you're going to open other avenues that wouldn't otherwise be there. Let me explain, right? It, you know, life is all about networking at the end of the day, right? And business in particular is all about networking. And once you start becoming a more experienced seasoned um, investor, you're going to come across more and more connections that can educate you because, you know, I, I'm a real estate agent and I'd like to think I know everything, but at the end of the day, I don't know everything. You know, life is all about learning and commercial is especially difficult, you know, to master. A few things that I want to talk to you about though, about commercial investing, once you get to that point. Number one, don't go where the money is. Don't do it. Go where the money's going to be, okay? Do you want to be sexy or do you want to be rich? You're going to hear that one a lot from me. But really, you know, somewhere to, you know, what, what to think about. All right, so commercial space, commercial always follows residential. So what do I mean? So in an area where residential is booming, that's where the commercial is going to be hot in five years because eventually, you know, all those houses that are built, they're going to be occupied and those people are going to need, this is my tea, those people are going to need a place to shop, a place to go take their, their kids to daycare. They're going to need a place to, you know, eat and take their pets to, you know, that these are all things. And so, of course, commercial always follows suit. So if you're going to make a commercial investment, you know, you don't want to go where the money is. You go where the money's going to be and you look at market trends and you evaluate and you say, okay, you know, in five years, the rents here are going to be, you know, they're going to increase by 30, 40, 50 cents a foot. And they may not seem like a lot. It's a lot, you know, so something to keep in mind, right? And um, yeah, that's really all I, you know, I really, really all I want to say. I, I would, I would definitely encourage you to start up in the residential space first just you know get get a couple of doors you know three four five doors maybe a duplex and a triplex or uh, maybe a fourplex and a single family I would I would recommend that you stay away from the townhomes and the condominiums why pay HOA I mean if you're gonna invest invest and build equity don't give it away to a homeowners association it's it's silliness you know a lot of people right now they're buying condos as investments in Palo Alto and Mountain View and I'm just like why like why you know you take that same money put it in a single family in the you know in the South Bay and you're gonna see a lot greater returns so you know don't don't kid yourself anyways I, I'm I'm kind of getting off topic but I really really hope that this information helps and um, you know if you ever you know need to talk about you know if you have any more questions about it just like message me I, I don't mind you know returning the message but uh, but I hope this generic answer helps in the meantime you take care of yourself peace